The time of our life is divided into weeks, seven days. Some named after celestial bodies, others after gods. And a very specific sequence which the whole world follows. Have you ever thought about it? Who named the days? Who arranged them in this way? Why are there only seven days in a week? Let's check the internet. Egyptians, Babylonians, uh, Greeks. Why not? We all have been taught how they influenced Indian astronomy. After all, the word hour comes from the Greek hora. Not really. There is no evidence for all this. Zero. Those old serious looking dudes didn't do any of it. The West just gave them credit. We believed it without checking. The word hour comes from hora. But hora actually comes from the Sanskrit word ahoratra. There's an ancient Indian book called Surya Siddhanta. Serious work on astronomy. It says, arrange the seven grahas, the major celestial bodies visible to the naked eye, from slowest to fastest. Call it the sequence. Make a list of the hours of the day. Start assigning each hour a graha as per the sequence. When you reach the bottom, carry over to the next day. The graha that gets the first hour of the day is called the dinpati. The deity of that graha then also becomes the deity of that day. This is how the days get their Vedic names. And notice the sequence? That's the secret of the sequence of weekdays. And the whole world follows it. But why is Mangalvar called Tuesday and not Mars Day? You see, Vedic days were named after Vedic deities. When out of India migrations happened, the days went too and got dubbed after the corresponding local deities. Greeks, Romans, Germanic tribes, Anglo-Saxons and finally the English names were born. A thousand years later, the Britishers taught it back to us. But Indian astronomy usually divides the day into 30 muhartas. Where do the 24 hours come from? See, that's what the Greeks gave. Nope. Srimad Bhagavatam talks of ancient times when the days were divided into 24 parts, not 30. That's where the word Hora gets called as the 24th part of a day, the hour. It's not just Surya Siddhanta or Bhagavatam. Aryabhatiya also talks of the same logic for naming and arranging the weekdays. It seems the Central Board of Secular Education was way too busy in teaching us Greek achievements that it glossed over such mammoth contributions of Vedic Bharat. Let it no longer be lost in narrative wars or remain unacknowledged. The world's days, their names and their arrangement, it's all given by Bharat. Our Bharat. Thank you.